All right. <laughs> so we have confirmation that not only does our C minor shape, okay, which leads to this D minor up here, the C minor shape by pentatonic counting, the parent shape is the D shape. And there's our D shape, five, six, root two, three, five, six, root two, four, five, six. And that four, that D four, D shaped four, is the F. So it's a, it's a D minor, it's parent, it D minor, C minor shaped, its parent is D major shaped F. So they both agree. We got a little confused there, but uh, it, it does it does agree. I've seen you've seen that before because the numbers will agree. These these guys here. Once again, C minor shape goes to goes up one pentatonic scale to a D shape is its parent. Okay, but D minor sound, you know, D minor notes, no matter what shape it is, it's a D minor you're playing, right? Goes up one pentatonic scale. Remember, the D minor goes up to uh, its, uh, its F. Now, here's where it gets a little complicated. I'll show you what, what's going on there. So here's what happens. We have our D minor. The arpeggio started down here, six, two, four, right? And then like six, two, four. And we it goes into this. Okay, it has to go back to this too, six, two, four. Because of the warp. It's it's a perfect fourth, but it goes the other way for a second. And uh, you know, one step back, two steps forward. Then <clears throat> the parent of D, actual D, whether it's two minor, is an F. All right, but that's going to be E shaped. Okay, because we have our E minor shaped right here, five seven three five seven three. And the F is in the same cage. It just goes up one fret, up a half step. So we got the E major shaped F. So you know the D minor, the actual sound. <laughs> you can't see me playing this, it's just the sound. Its parent is up to the, is in the E shape, okay? So it's an F-shaped E, like that. So let me just, let's just go back to where we were here. Now it's saying this is a D-shaped F. We're, here we go again, because we've got the C minor, and its parent shape is a D-shape, but the D minor, going up one pentatonic scale member, is the E-shape, okay? But the F is going to take on the E major, so that it, it it checks, it checks. I'm not sure if my system is is all that good, but it it fits in like from what I just showed you. What's important is keep an open mind. Important to keep an open mind. You know, on these on these things. We can experiment and we can, you know, see what's going on. This is just some rules. Here's the magic circle. Okay, so we don't want to get too into this, but here, you know, your, your magic fret was A, right? And then it went to D, to G, to C, to E, then to A again. So this is, this is the, uh, this is string two and three or string uh, four and five kind of thing from that fret. So we went all all through this uh, in previous lessons. I just wanted to review this chart a little bit. How this is a nice chart because instead of taking these these 
tripentatonic labels and putting and making them overlap I gave the labels their own boxes so we could see that now this is just Dorian and Ionian and this is Phrygian and Lydian here you know drawing the same fretboard this is the same thing so we've done this we did this in the last lesson and now we have down here we have like a little special case of the uh, the half diminished we're gonna get to that so let's let's do that let's do that let's do that half diminished so this whole thing this whole chart right here is based on the half diminished now up here we got pretty much the same thing here we got this ready to go we don't have to go and find it again because we might gonna use it Here's half diminished uh, Locrian, pure Locrian, but it's not really pure Locrian. What it is is it's four. Yes, it is. It's pure Locrian because it doesn't have the sixth. Usually, the purple is for um, D minor. If you want an easy Locrian, just play a D minor. Or a two minor. If you want an easy seven half diminish, play a two minor. Because two minor is the parent key of the seventh half diminish. And the grandparent of seven half diminish is the parent of the, of the second, Dorian. So Lydian is the grandparent of the Dorian, which is the parent of the Locrian. It sounds like family tree but it's not it makes some kind of sense so you just play a D minor kind of thing and then add you know you can add the uh, here's a here's a you add the seventh here's the B string so if you just play if you just play an a, a D minor here but then lift the uh, the the D up and, and let that drop down to a V. Kind of starts to take on that half diminished sound. By the way, we're going to cover half diminished chords today, hopefully. What's great about this chart that I like is I finally was able to name the set, the last scale quality. What's what are we talking about? Scale tone chords, modal chords. C. D minor shape D minor E minor shape E minor E shaped F G shaped G A, notice there's a similar there's a doubling A minor shaped A minor but when we go to the other positions it's gonna move up up the line now this one it says C we're back to C now so here we have an E minor into an E major. Okay, here we have a C minor, C minor um, diminished fifth into a C major. So there's a similarity there. So I can maintain the caged, the pentatonic scale rather. Caged is backwards. C A G E D C. You know, C A C C A G E E D C C A G caged, right? Where is that C minor? It's not easy to see, but it's saying C minor shapes we uh, have diminished. Okay, so let's look at our C shape. Here's our C shape. Da da, C shape. All right, now we want a C minor shape. Let's forget the, the minus five first and just go C minor, B half diminished. Well, where's B? B's right here, right? B's number seven. B's number seven. Yeah, I'm gonna show you an easier way. All right, for a moment, I just wanted to bring this chart up. We'll start this in a few.